ready go we are live all right hey it's christy for make it take it are you watching are you here hello are you ready to craft <laughs> we are so ready we're so ready okay here we go oh i just touched my face oh don't we, do that if you're at home where's our purell <laughs> okay so we're gonna do some paper weaving today and the supplies you need our paper. We have a whole bunch of different colors of construction paper, but you can have copy paper, you can have scrapbook paper, really any kind of paper that you can cut with scissors will work for this project. Um, you also need a glue stick or a piece of tape, uh, just something that is a little sticky. And then if you're gonna cut with scissors, you need a ruler and a pencil and some scissors, or you can have, if you have a paper trimmer on hand, that will help too. Basically what we need to do are cut a whole bunch of strips. Okay, so let's get started. All right, the best way to do it is to have two colors of paper that are contrasting colors. And that's gonna make something really stand out. If what you have are two pieces of paper that are the exact same, like you have two pieces of white paper, what I want you to do is now, is when you're gonna get your crayons and markers or whatever you have to make one of your sheets of paper super colorful, I want you to do that. Um, and then you're gonna make your strips, you're gonna make them super colorful. All right, so, Let's just pretend that you've had time to color a whole sheet of paper. With one of your sheets of paper, you're gonna fold it in half. The hamburger way. The hamburger way, that's <laughs> right. I guess you could technically do it the hot dog way, right? I guess you could, yeah. It just wouldn't be, I don't know. You get more weaving if you do it the hamburger way. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna fold our paper in half. And I'm gonna show you a trick that I like to do. Can you see it all right on this blue? It's okay? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut, I'm gonna cut right in the middle and I'm gonna leave about an inch at the end that I'm not gonna cut through. Do you see that? Okay, so we're gonna have a bunch of little cuts through here, but the way I like to make them even is now I'm gonna go halfway between here and the edge. Mm, good pro tip. Thanks. I'm the craft wizard. <laughs> hey, all you guys watching, we should make Christy a craft wizard name. So any ideas, <laughs> send them in. Oh gosh. What is Christy's craft wizard name? Okay, <laughs> so we've got those two and now we're gonna go over here and halfway. Okay, so now we have four, but that's not enough. So now we're gonna go halfway again in all of these strips. Check that out. Boom. You wanna try and have nice straight cuts, but if you don't, then that just means that you're doing an advanced technique that we're gonna talk about <laughs> later. <laughs> so if they're not straight, that's okay. But for this first one, we're gonna try and do as straight as we can. Okay, so those are pretty evenly spaced. Then you're gonna unfold your paper and you've got all of these slits, okay? Now we need to make our strips of paper that we're going to weave through this paper that we just made. Okay, so to do that, this is where you're gonna use your ruler. And strips about an inch long are probably good for this kind of project. And you're just gonna make your lines We're gonna do the magic of TV, maybe. <laughs> so we're gonna cut our strips. Let's 
Let's give a shout out to Elena, who is standing on a table right now. <laughs> yeah, sorry if it's wobbly. <laughs> we're, we're trying. We couldn't find the tripod today. So I am the tripod. It's somewhere. I'm... We'll get our act together eventually. <laughs> Speaking of which, I was thinking we would do these videos um, just on Tuesdays and Thursdays, so twice a week. This will be our first one. Our one on Thursday is going to use the exact same supplies, but we're going to do paper folding. Ooh. So. Upgrades. And then next week we'll move on to a different project, and I'll have the supply list ready for you on Thursday, so you have some time to gather everything up. Okay, so we've got some slits, strips. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna be doing what's called a plain weave, which is just over, under, over, under. And what that means is you're gonna take one of these strips and you're gonna go over this one and under the next one. Over this one under this one, over, under. You're kind of making a little checkerboard, over, under. All right, so that's our first row. This is where you could use a little glue or tape or something to put something on there to hold it in place. I'm not gonna bother with that right now. You can also trim your sheet at the end or at the beginning. You just want this to cover. So there you go, there's that. Now for the next row, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go the opposite. So you went over on this one and now you're gonna go under. So under, over, under, over, under, over under, over. And you see how it makes that really cool checkerboard effect. Okay. And then you just keep doing that all the way up to the top. You can experiment with a whole bunch of different colors. I'm gonna show you some of the things that Elena and Marcy made a few days ago. So we've got this really cool green and purple. This is what happens when you experiment with cutting like squiggly lines. Is that what you did, Elena? Yeah, like I cut over. squiggly both in strips and in lines. So that makes a cool shape. This is one that we did where we colored on the paper and we colored on two different papers. And so um, then we just cut, cut up one and stripped those and put them in the, uh, in the weaving. Okay, you can do different shapes. So there are a whole bunch of different patterns. You don't have to just go over, under, over, under. You can experiment and see what will happen if you maybe go under two and over one and under two and over one. And that's how you can make some really cool patterns. Does anybody have any questions yet? I don't see any yet. Okay. And then we've got some done with scrapbook paper. So this gets really fun where you can mix and match. Scrapbook paper comes in a whole bunch of different patterns and colors, and you can really experiment with the kinds of designs you get. Those so out cute. this isn't just for making, you know, like plain sheets of paper for weaving, but this is really good practice for other projects that you can do with paper weaving and then weaving other things. So check out this. Ah, so you can um, learn how to weave these little boxes or baskets. This would be really fun for Easter coming up and you can put some candy in it or your eggs. Um, so this is a fun project. I'll show you how to do that on Thursday. And then I wanted to show you a few more things of things that you can weave. Oh, a May Day basket, Wendy oh, says. Yes. Perfect. Mayday Good idea, basket. Wendy. So Nebraska. So Nebraska. 
we're going to need those May Day baskets. Yeah, we are. May 1st. <laughs> Everybody's going to be needing to deliver <laughs> treats and things like that. Okay, so I was just going to show you a few more things that you can weave with. So here is just a piece of cardboard and we cut some little tabs. You wrap it around with yarn and then you can weave yarn back and forth and you can make little coasters and things like that. And it is the same thing that you're doing with paper over, under, over, under, over, under. And then the other side you do under, over, under, over. So that's, that's so the cool. kind of pattern. Then you can get to where you do, this is a really cool loom that we have. And this is the exact same thing, but with yarn and you're just going over, under, over, under, and then you're using some really cool different yarns and things. So paper weaving is really just the beginning. And if you practice and, um, you know, work on some cool things, I want to see what you come up with. So if you want to tag us on Facebook, on Instagram or whatever, if you want to do hashtag, um, make it at home or make it take it so we can see your projects. That would be great and we can share them uh, with our other friends all over. So that's our project for today. We'll see you on Thursday and uh, so stay safe.